Hi guys, it's James Goddard here down at Quest Golf Academy and today I want to talk to you a little bit about a couple of variations on how to play a basic chip shot. Now we're coming up to the summer and a lot of you will be playing out on Lynx golf courses and what I see and a real common denominator I see is how many amateur golfers really struggle to play a chip shot off a super tight lie. So how do the tour pro control these shots the best? Well, what they do is they'll utilize the bounce on the club. And this is something that I see amateur golfers really struggling with. I see them knock down, the, so we're gonna take a less lofted golf club to play like a real knockdown shot, instead of going for a higher lofted club. And like I say, using the bounce of this club as effective as it could. So what do I mean by playing this knockdown shot? Well, firstly, I would see a setup, a ball position right off the back foot, and the hands would be pressed as far forward as possible. Now in their minds, this is so that they can trap the ball against the turf, the ball's gonna come out super low and they're trying to get that ball first connection. Now the only issue with that is, if we do have a bit of an issue with the strikes, we don't stri strike it perfect, then we often get that one, that stick straight in the ground, or a common one I see is the hands come up and they thin it, completely thin it. So believe it or not, they, they actually think that that's giving them a higher percentage or a better chance of executing this, that shot. They really aren't. If we go for a slightly higher lofted club, so I've got a 58 degree here, and it's got around 10 degrees of bounce. And for those of you who don't actually know what the bounce is, it's just this camber here at the bottom of the club. So we've got the face and underneath, you can see how the leading edge is slightly higher. Now this bounce is actually our friend. So it's actually gonna help us out with this shot. So the way I would like to see this shot played, and I'll give you guys a drill for this in a minute, is stance is pretty narrow. So you can see I've got a, a club head width apart and the reason being for this is I don't like anything too wide purely because then we start having issues with ball position so I don't really reference ball position here so how I would do this is I would have feet I could say one club length apart and I will use my sternum so as long as my sternum is over the golf ball and if my stance is pretty narrow then there's a very good chance my sternum is going to be directly over the golf ball so sternum over the golf ball, take my normal setup. The one thing I would change is I always go slightly weaker on the left hand. So let's just say we'd normally look for a two and a half knuckle grip. Just turn that into say a one, one and a half knuckle grip. And that is just one to help keep this face more open. And two, it just allows this left wrist, left wrist, left wrist, left wrist to extend a little bit freer so we don't get kind of this motion going on as i see with a strong grip when we have it a little bit weaker it just helps this left wrist extend which adds loft and keeps that face square to our target line so i'm going to just play a couple as i see so you can see ball is back in the stance hands are pressed really forward and it's kind of nipped so it's come out very hot as i'd expected not a bad shot really but super low, um, again, as you'd expect. Okay, so let's try another one. So again, ball back in the stance, hands press super forward, just trying to nip that ball. Again, strike pretty good. Yeah, ex what I'd expect, so it's come out very hot, very low. I'm gonna hit six shots, three of each, and then we're gonna take a look at the data. So one more. Weight forward, hands forward, and just nip it. Okay, so that's the best of the lot. But you can see, guys, how much run I'm kind of having to allow for, and that's, that's even with a 58-degree wedge. So now I'm going to play how I would play it, and this is the option that I'm giving you guys if you want to try this way. I think one, it just gives a little bit more forgiveness. So by using the bounce, you've got all that sole, you can actually bottom out a little bit early. You do not have to be perfect with this strike. So that's set up. So there's no shaft lean, 
a slightly weaker grip on the left hand. Ball position we don't use, we use a sternum as a reference point, so my sternum is directly over the ball, left foot slightly flared out and I'm just going to rotate the body back and through. So even there that strike wasn't the best but I got away with it. Okay. Let's see if we can hit a better one. Okay, so let's hit another one. So again, Sturdum's directly over the golf ball. Slightly weaker grip, and I'm just gonna rotate back and through. So I caught that pure. A little bit short of my target, my landing zone. Setup is key for this shot, and the only sort of feel after that is I'm just trying to make sure that I maintain this shaft angle so I'm not because we can set up here and still return here. So once I've done, my, done the hard part and I've got set up, I'm just gonna rotate back, make sure that I return, and you can still there's no shaft lean, and rotate through. So it's very rotational, there's no real use of the hands here. So we're gonna hit one more. So get myself set up, weight slightly forward, weaker grip, rotate back, and through, and I caught that. Gorgeous. Okay, so let's now take a, a look at the differences between those two and, you know, was there any differences? So, the first one we have up here is the one where I played with my hands forward, back of the stance, you know, that lower flight. So let's have a look at three things. Uh, first, it will go for carry distance. So my first one carried at 13 yards total. It had a descent angle of 18 degrees. It had a backspin total of 4,000, pretty much 4,000 revs per minute. Um, launch angle of 19, so launch angle of pretty much 20 degrees. So let's now take a look at the second one. So how I would prefer to see the golf shot played. So hands obviously nowhere near, press forward, the shaft very neutral and it's pretty much a rotational golf shot. Carry distance between the two, very similar. So you can see here how they both carried within a yard, pretty much the exact same distance. The total distance on the hands press forwards was 31 yards, which is what you'd expect. So I had a lot more run on it. Whereas the one I hit with my preferred method finished at a total of 21 yards. So it's grabbed up a lot quicker. And I think the spin rates kind of reflect that. So let's look at the, the descent angle first and the launch angle. So the launch angle for the hands press forward was, as you'd expect guys, is in at around about 20 degrees. Whereas the one how I played or how I prefer to play it was in around about 33, just shy of 33 degrees. So let's look then obviously descent angle, 18 degrees for the hands press forwards. That's very flat. Descent angle on the one how I like to play, 33 degrees spin rate now this is the interesting one and this is what I would expect and I think the numbers and data is reflecting that you can see hands press forward 4,000 revs and the shot and the data again is, is reflecting this the one I prefer to play you're in around about 4,800 revs per minute so it's gonna have a lot more spin is it a tougher shot to play I don't think so I, I genuinely believe that there's a lot more um, margin for error there. The way these clubs have been designed, they're, they're designed to help us out. So I'm going to give you guys a quick drill to just help you get a feel for this. I think we talked through the setup point. That's key. Setup is key. So once you've got yourself set up, this is just a great visual. I'm sure everyone's got an alignment stick and if you haven't, you can use your, uh, your mum's bamboo rod or your wife's bamboo stick, whatever you've got. So what we obviously we don't want the hands pressed forward, but obviously this alignment stick isn't allowing me to get it where I want, which would be to be pretty much straight up and down. But this is just, guys, this is, again is just for you to get a feel of how to play this shot. So feet, club head apart, sternum directly over the golf ball. We know we weaken the grip slightly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place this alignment stick down the side of the grip. It's a little bit fiddly. Once you've got your grip on there, I'm gonna try my best to pinch it in this way so you can see that's normal. I'm just pinching it in as best I can to get it pointing back towards my, my belly button here. From there, 
If we were to play the hands press forward style, you'll see this alignment stick will disconnect. So it's completely disconnected from my body here. On the way through, it'll stay disconnected and we'll get this kind of impact position. So you can see the alignment stick is pointing up and to the left and it'll just continue that way. A good feel for you, and again, this is giving you some feedback as well, is once we've set it, I should be able to just turn back and through and this alignment stick never leaves my side. So set the club, turn back, still connected to my side here, turn through, you can see how the shaft isn't perfect, but it's a lot better than where, we, where you guys would have it. So it's a lot more perpendicular, I think that's the word, up and down. And again, as I rotate through, hands are quite inactive and it's still, once again, connected, whereas a hands press forward technique would see more of this position. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, head over to the Quest Golf Academy and that's where I'm gonna be doing most of my tuitional videos. Follow me on all my other social media platforms on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and lots more to come. See you next time.